I welcome you to this beautiful painting tutorial of Pink Peony from color mixing to finishing touches. Welcome to Peony painting tutorial. Here I have outline drawing of a peony bud, half open uh, from its starting to bloom. And first we're gonna be doing color mixing for this tutorial. I will show you which colors will be using here first i will i will start with reds and pinks permanent rose senelia red for some really warmer shades and perline maroon these three pigments will go for the main bud i will mix these together here and for the darker parts i will add this perline maroon to make uh, those uh, petal areas in shadow area which I which are in shadow will be adding their apparel in maroon and for the green parts I will be using lemon yellow sap green and perline green I'll add a little bit stronger like that In total, six pigments will be used for this tutorial. Not too complicated. And I will write down, so permanent rows. Senelia red. Perlin maroon. And for the green parts, lemon yellow, sap green, and perlin green. Here in my color palette, I will add permanent rows. Here I will add Senelia Red and in the third Perlin Maroon. It's easier to take uh, colors from your palette because you know you can see the amount which you are taking, the water was already there, uh, taking straight um, from pans or tubes it's it will be too too much of a pigment too intense uh, water is required for watercolors so even if i will be painting with um, clean pigments no mixes here except for the green parts but I'm, now i'm talking of the bud uh, i will be painting with the clean pigments and still i need them here on my palette with water to see the intensity of that pigment and now let's go to the main bud to start painting here we are again with an outline drawing i took the excess amount 
of graphite off with the elastic eraser. And now we are ready to start. First, watery wash of on one petal. Almost going to the edges of that one petal, but not quite. And water amount is enough to flow the pigment, but not too much. It's it's not dripping or not flowing anywhere. And I'm taking Senelier Red. First, looking at my reference, I can see that darker amount of the color is on the top of the petal and down it looks quite watery carefully spreading my pigment stopping if i don't need it going somewhere like in this case this is the lightest part adding a little bit of pink here like that and now carefully moving to the edges i'm doing that with a simple synthetic brush it's simple round synthetic brush no specific brand great for watery washes color mixing First layers are really watery just to understand where which pigment goes, where's the light, where's the darks. And spreading, moving wherever you need. If, if something is too much, I can wipe it out while it's still wet or add more pigment to make it more intense taking fine point synthetic brush and now I can with, uh, with straight brush strokes make these friending but being uh, careful with that lighter part I'm leaving it much lighter than it is than it appears on my reference. I will make it later much darker, but now I need it more lighter. I can wipe out some of color where I need it, like here in this part. With dry and clean brush. pigment is nicely wiping out like that I can add pearly maroon to the really darker areas of this petal Again, carefully looking at the reference. It's better go lighter in the beginning. You can always go darker with watercolors. It's harder to go lighter. So be careful with first washes. Don't go too intense with your colors. I can add more of a pigment here. As I can see, there's more intensity. And here is one little space where it's... And again, spreading paint while it's still wet. First layers are really watery. It's more wet on wet. And later I will go more drier with each layer, but now it's more wet on wet. So 
two, so I can add more. And here, carefully adding. It's better to leave more of a lighter space than, uh, than it is uh, seen in reference. You will narrow, narrow it down while you add more layers. So in the beginning, I always leave wider space of light than it is in the reference. Now I will leave this petal to dry and go on to the next petal. 